Hello everyone, welcome back in this new video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to install DaVinci Resolve on Fedora and it's going to be extremely extremely easy. So let's begin. So the first thing, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, make sure that you have the proprietary NVIDIA drivers installed. I have made a video on how to install them, so if you have not installed them, please install them because otherwise you won't be able to have a good experience with DaVinci Resolve. So now let's open the browser and search for DaVinci Resolve. Let's open their website and let's click on download. As you can see here, we have a Linux version, both on the free version and the studio version. So here you select the one that you want to install and you're going to click on Linux, of course. And here you're going to scroll down and click on download only if you don't want to put the information. Okay, so the download has finished and now we can open our file manager and extract the archive. Just click on extract. And now we have to wait until the extraction finishes. And so it has finished. And now let's open the folder and let's right click on the DaVinci Resolve installer and click on properties and make sure that executable as a program is packed. So now we can double click on the program. This is uh, what it says. It's giving us an error and it's saying that we are missing uh, Zlib, which is a dependency. But the thing is that Fedora has moved to a newer like version of Zlib and so the DaVinci Resolve installer is not recognizing the old one and it's preventing us from accessing it. So if here it's also telling you that you are missing more dependencies from Zlib, so maybe you have other names other than Zlib, then you just have to open the terminal and install those dependencies. You type sudo dnf install and then you type the name of the other dependencies that are missing. So once you have installed those missing dependencies, if it's telling you that you have missing dependencies other than Zlib, we can move to the next step. And with this next step, we're actually going to install DaVinci Resolve. So here we have to click on an empty space of the terminal and click open in console or open in terminal, whatever the option is called. And here we're going to paste this command that I'm going to link in the description. All the commands that we're going to use in this video, I'm going to link them in the description so you can copy and paste them from there. And then we're going to paste the command, but we're going to change the uh, name of the DaVinci Resolve version. So we're going to rename the DaVinci Resolve version. Let's copy everything, including the dot run. So we're going to copy everything. And we're going to paste it here. So we're going to delete the DaVinci Resolve version name. Up until here, we need to keep the uh, dot and the uh, forward slash. Now we're going to paste the new name. So we're going to now click enter. And as you can see now, the, the DaVinci Resolve Studio installer actually opens correctly. And now we're able to install DaVinci Resolve. So we're going to click next. If you want the DaVinci Resolve OpenFX renderer, you also check this. Then you're going to click next. Next again. You have to agree to the terms and conditions. And then you click next and here you can click on start install you have to put your password and now davinci resolve is installing so now that the download is ending we have to put our password again okay so it has finished the download so we can click on finish now we have to kind of fix davinci resolve because right now it's not going to open as you can see i can double click it i can open it uh, from here but it's not going to launch because there are some dependencies that DaVinci Resolve installed that make it incompatible outside of Rocky Linux, which is the only distribution that they actually like officially fully support. And so we're going to just uh, move these dependencies that make DaVinci Resolve not start so that DaVinci Resolve will actually be able to start. Now we have to open the terminal again. Let's open the terminal again. And as I said, these commands that I'm going to use, I've copied it and pasted in the description of the video. So you can copy and paste them from there. So now let's copy and paste this command cd opt resolve libs, which means that we're going to cd into this directory. So as you can see now, we are inside this directory, basically. That's what it means. Then we're going to paste this command. This command just creates a new directory, a folder called not used. We're going to input our password and that's it. And now we're going to copy and paste this command and this command is going, to, is going to move these files, which are the libraries, into the not used folder. Because these are the libraries that actually make DaVinci Resolve not start. And by moving them outside of that folder, DaVinci Resolve will actually be able to start. And now the last command that we have to copy and paste is this one. So we're going to click enter and we're going to install by pressing Y and then enter. And so we have finished everything. Now we can actually run DaVinci Resolve. So let's see if it works. Yes, it works. Now it's glitched in between the screens. As you can see, it actually is 
working. So now you have successfully installed DaVinci Resolve on your Fedora installation and you can go ahead, input your license key, or if you're using the free version, just go ahead and use it. And so that's it for today's video. I hope it has been helpful to you. As you saw, it is very, very easy. And if it has helped you, please like and subscribe because it really helps the channel grow a lot. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Have an amazing day.